Hi everyone, it's Maria Grimm with your market report for Stowe, Hudson, Cuyahoga Falls, and Kent. We're also going to include year and summaries for Summit and Portage and Cuyahoga County, just as a point of reference. I work in all those counties, so I'll pull the data from anywhere um, you're interested in. Uh, but before I get started on the data, I just wanted to share um, my goal for the year. Um, I try to put place around a word, word or self-help kind of thing each year. Um, so my word for this year is empower. So not only to feel empowered within myself or to help my spouse or, or my children feel empowered, um, but also the people that I touch, whether it's my clients to feel empowered and knowledgeable about the process ahead, um, my coworkers, my constituents that I work with in various committees and clubs that I'm in, um, just empowering them with the best tools that I have, um, pointing them in the right direction for success um, and all of that. So not just a self-help goal, but how it extends beyond me as well, being the best self that I can be um, and helping others with that. So I hope you also are setting goals for the year and I wish you the best of luck. And I'm so happy that 2021 is here. But let's take a look at the data for the end of 2020. Um, for Stowe, the average home sale price in December was $197,000. That's a percentage increase of 8.7 for the, for the year, um, throughout the year. 61 days on the market was the average time for, for December sales. 69 houses came onto the market. 32 went under contract and 39 sold. For Hudson, 419,000 was the average home sale price. That's a 2.4% increase through the year. 76 days on the market for Hudson. 57 houses came onto the market. 28 went under contract and 27 sold. Cuyahoga Falls, $150,000 was the average home sale price. That's a year-end increase of 1.6%. We don't have anybody falling behind this year. Last year, we had a few uh, cities ending up negative. We're all positive with all of these this year. Um, so Cuyahoga Falls days on market was 61, just like Stowe's. 128 houses came onto the market, 64 went under contract, and 85 sold. For Kent, $172,000 for the average home sale price. That's a 24% increase for, for Kent. So for the at year end, Kent home sale prices have really gone up. So way to go, Kent. Uh, 59 days on the market was the average for Kent homes. 44 houses came onto the market. 21 went under contract and 34 sold. So we see these longer days on market, totally normal uh, this time of year. So no worries with that. And here, let's do our Summit Summit Portage and Cuyahoga County summaries for the year. In Summit County, 8,536 homes sold this past year with a median home sale price of $152,000. And that's a 3.3% increase in home average sale value for the year. Portage County, 2,144 homes sold happy to be part of many of those sales. All of them, sure, that'd be great. No, don't say that. <laughs> a median home sale price of 188,000. And that's a 1.8% increase uh, in, in those values this year. And Cuyahoga County, I just put in for giggles, uh, 18,807 homes sold in Cuyahoga County this past year with $162,000 as the average home sale price. And that was a 26% increase. So way to go, Cuyahoga County. Uh, nice home values there. Nice seeing a positive market in, in all of these counties um, and municipalities that I serve. So if you have any questions at any time about homes, home sale prices, things like that, just want to see what's going on in, in your neighborhood, let me know. I'm here to help. Have a wonderful 2021. Take care.